Guys, a lot of people keep saying, and I'm talking everywhere, even electric car fans, they keep telling me, mate, electric cars, they are not going to, not everyone's going to get them for decades. They're saying the reason is because people live in apartment blocks, they live in terrace houses, they can't get access to EV chargers, it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. Now, I sh really think it's worth pointing out to some of these people, nobody has a gas station or a petrol pump at their house. Right, And this expectation, people thinking we need to have a gas station or a petrol pump at our house, or we need to have a, basically we need to have an EV charging point at our house. Without one of those, EVs won't be adopted mainstream. That's what a lot of EV fans are even saying. I think that's crazy. And one of the reasons is this. Governments are rolling out curbside chargers. So chargers that are literally on the street. They are actually going out in numerous countries around the world. There's already quite a few of these in various European countries. We know they're being rolled out in Germany. We know some of them being rolled out in the United States. Now, Ausgrid, which are the main electricity, basically the electricity business of Australia, they're the corporation, they are rolling out curbside EV chargers on power poles. Here are the details. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. And great to see everyone part of this new electric revolution, guys. I am, I'm really excited to get, I'm gonna get an EV, a new EV that you guys, well, you know a little bit about, Xpeng G6. I'm gonna drive it in about three and a half weeks. I'm gonna drive it with Jack and Cal, with my boys, into a road trip to Melbourne. I'm gonna do some hiking in Melbourne potentially hike Mount Bogong, so that's the highest mountain in Victoria, and then we're gonna drive back. I'm gonna show you guys how, what it's like to take uh, an X-Point G6 on a long road trip. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So convenient and affordable is what Osgrid is saying. Now Osgrid's saying the electric revolution is here, and there's a lot to look forward to. Your future car will do away with a complicated combustion engine, which requires a lot of maintenance, replacing it with a simple electric motor. I've got to beg people, please, please stop posting stuff. Please don't send me messages talking about when I've got to replace my battery. After five years, you've got to replace your battery pack. That's all a heap of crap, guys. Pretty much every modern new car, the battery pack will last for a minimum of 500,000 kilometers. It's a lot longer than an internal combustion engine will last on average. So, new EVs, right? They have a battery pack. They can be charged overnight eventually entirely by renewable energy, like the sun and the wind. Here in Australia, we have a, we have our entire grid now is an average of 40% renewables. Some states are well over 50%. Places like Germany are at 65%. Most of the world will be renewable only within the next decade. And obviously, there's key reasons for that happening. So that means that really your electric car, even if you can't you know, power your electric car with your own solar panels on your roof, even then, it doesn't matter because all electricity will eventually be renewables. In an EV future, the air you breathe will be cleaner. There'll be a lot less cancers, a lot less um, of things like asthma and other issues that people are having from the fumes from petrol and gasoline powered cars. But in the future, you'll have one big thing, right? And that is the ability to charge your EV at many different places. We're talking fast food restaurants. We're talking hotels. We're talking uh, supermarkets. We're talking, um, you know, at your home, of course. But there's so many places where chargers are being installed. Australia's electricity grids are powering up for the shift to EVs. And the truth is, guys, that um, Australia's electricity grid is, we're planning on being 90% renewable by 2032. A lot of people believe by 2035 that all sources of fossil fuels in Australia will be dead. Ausgrid, they want to take advantage of this. And they're basically, they can see the fact that with renewable energy, there'll be many times of the day we will have way more energy than we need as a country. Now, a lot of that energy will be stored in mega batteries. A lot of those mega batteries are being built right now across Australia. But some of that, will just go straight into electric cars. It'll be a really good use of all the surplus energy we have. As Tony Sieber says, generally, when you build out a renewable energy grid, you need 200%. So you need a 100% surplus. Where does all that 100% surplus go? It goes to EVs. Ausgrid, apparently, um, they are preparing the grid in Australia for roadside charges. So 
What does that mean? Well, roadside charges apparently will be everywhere. And they are gonna future-proof places like Sydney and Melbourne, uh, essentially meaning that um, if you live in a terraced house where you you know you can't really you don't have your own carport or garage or whatever that's very often the case or it may be to live in an apartment block where you can't get your own charger most people living in apartment blocks can as long as they have a parking space but still there's going to be some people that can't right this will mean there's no reason not to get an ev if there's charges everywhere on streets curbsides you know at fast food chains at all these different places colleges universities they're everywhere if they're also right affordable and much cheaper than internal combustion engines to power you know evs are cheaper but they're going to become even cheaper that's what many experts including tony Sieb himself are saying he's saying it's going to be marginal cost it might cost around five to ten dollars to actually charge your ev from zero to 100 percent the reason for that of course is all this excess renewable energy we have interestingly osgrid already have some of these right how fast are these how fast can they actually charge they provide between seven kilowatt and up to 22 kilowatt of ac charging on a 22 kilowatt charger not all cars can charge at 22 kilowatt a lot of them charge at 11 kilowatt uh, but anyway if you can charge your ev at 22 kilowatt you could potentially probably charge your battery in about three and a half hours depending on how big your battery is maybe even quicker if you've got a small battery a lot of cars for example xpunks g6 that's 11 kilowatt fast charging ac charging but it's still 11 kilowatt, you can probably charge in about mm, probably five, six hours, depending on the size of your battery pack. It's pretty quick actually for AC charging. Osgrid is apparently working with the industry to explore different ways to scale up solutions um, and add grids, add charges to Australia's electricity network. This is one of the ways that Osgrid can make money. We know that uh, more and more people are installing renewables, the more and more people are installing big, battery packs right at their houses meaning these people don't need electricity from the grid electricity companies are going well what are we going to do all these people right we've got four million households in australia with solar panels now that's a pretty big percentage and more and more people installing solar they're like well how do we get rid of our electricity bills here in australia they install solar that's what i did here guys i used a company called resync energy i'll put a link in the description below to those guys if you actually use them I don't make any profit from this, by the way. This is just like a benefit to viewers of the channel. They will give you a discount. They have the best reviews of any electricity company, or sorry, I should say any solar company here in Australia. But because so many people are installing solar, well, the actual electricity pie, the big pie that the market, that is basically the market, it is shrinking. So electricity supplies, supplies are thinking, well, how do we actually... Um, take advantage of this how do we actually open up a new market and this is one of the ways they're doing it installing these charges on lamp posts and actually on even on concrete curbs as well in bexley north in southern sydney there is actually a community battery battery installed by osgrid it's a 267 kilowatt hour battery and apparently it can actually charge eight electric cars and this battery, it's recharged when there's excess solar energy. And there's all, during the day between 10, about 10 o'clock in the morning and about 3 p.m. in the evening, there's almost always excess solar energy in Australia, depending on what state you're in. But in the next five or 10 years, there'll be massive amounts of excess energy. And of course, batteries like this, they'll be recharged using that energy that the grid, well, technically is curtailing or actually getting rid of. So this is the future of electricity here. This is not just the future in Australia. The future in Australia involves things like vehicle to grid or you know people using their EVs. Now, speaking of using their EVs, some of these big batteries that people are using to do things like this, they're actually getting them from old electric cars, electric cars that have uh, no longer been used or potentially they were involved in some sort of collision where the battery packs, there's nothing wrong with them. Then you can use these potentially create your own battery storage at home or the grid. Um, potentially, they can get access to these battery packs as well, apparently, and put in these community batteries, which will enable you to charge your EV in many different places using purely 100% renewable energy. Now, there's so many things going on here in the renewable energy space, in the EV space, but the key takeaway here is that technology is making everything faster, everything better, everything more affordable, 
and everything more doable when it comes to electric cars, when it comes to solar energy. Honestly, the future is going to be absolutely incredible. I'm really just every day thinking, wow, look at this new thing. Wow, look at this new EV. Look at this new charger. Look at this new connect grid connection here. Look at this. Everything is moving in a positive direction. Even China with their renewable energy. I mean, people point out that China has installed coal power plants in the last 12 months, but actually they don't point out the fact that 90% of the planned coal power plants for China have been canceled over the past 12 months, 90% canceled. And that's not just China, that's many countries around the world. So they're canceling these coal power plants in order to do what? In order to build out massive amounts of renewable energy. Thanks for watching.